Today on our 2012 Toyota 4Runner, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Hollywood Rack Sport Rider SE4 platform style 4 bike rack for fat bikes. That's part of our HR1400Z-FB. So I've already got it loaded up just to give you a good idea of what it looks like and how it's going to hold our bikes. Now, not only does it hold fat bikes, but it's going to hold your standard bikes as well. In this kit, you're going to get a total of 16 cradles. You're going to get 8 fat tire cradles, which will hold fat tires up to 5 inches wide, and 8 standard cradles, which will hold standard, wire, uh, excuse me, standard tires up to 3 inches wide. Now, right away, even though it can hold all these bikes and a wide variety of bikes, you're going to be able to tilt this bike rack away so it can get into that rear hatch. And the way that's done is, you want to remove the snapper pin here. And keep in mind, when all of the bikes are loaded up, it is quite heavy, so definitely get one of your friends to help you do this that's uh, with you on your trip. Then we're going to lift up on the rack slightly and pull out on that quick release pin and lower it down until it rests. As you can see, we're going to be able to get into our Forerunner's hatch without any issues to remove any of that large gear that we might have stowed away in our rear hatch area. Now, depending on the bikes you carry, you may get a little more or a little less room out of your rear hatch um, and your handlebars here on your bike, so just keep that in mind. And for picking up, same thing. It's heavy, so get an extra set of hands. Since we've obviously just got one bike on here, it's not so bad. Put that pin back in place. And we're all set. Now one of this bike rack's best features is it can be easily converted down to just a two bike rack. Say you're not going with an extra two friends, it's just you and a friend or you and your two bikes, you can easily take off the rear. And the way that's done is you loosen up your anti-rattle lever here the pin comes out here, and then it's a two bike rack. So very simple and easy, no tools required to do so. For demonstration purposes, we're gonna leave this in place. Now when you do take this off, you get a nice reflector that goes on the end to keep you more visible at night. Let's go ahead and take our bike off. We'll undo our hook and loop straps first. So we've got two hook and loop straps, one for each wheel. That's gonna keep that in place. And our bikes are held in place by these frame hooks. So our bikes are nice and sturdy, they're not going anywhere, so we can rest assured that all of our bikes are going to be safe as we're heading down the road. And we'll raise up that frame hook, and they're all lockable, so that way no one's going to be able to remove our bikes but us. So we'll raise that up. I'd also like to mention that Hollywood Rex does give us the option to remove that Phillips head screw on our center mast so we can completely remove that frame hook to make it a little bit easier to take off our bikes. Once that's done, you can then fold that center mass down to the right for this one, the left for that one, and then you've got nothing in the way to remove your bike. But it's still possible to do it this way. Just keep that in mind if you happen to pick up this bike rack. And what I like to do is just go ahead and replace those hook and loop straps. That way they don't get damaged. Let's grab some measurements. So overall, to our Forerunner, we've added about 48 inches. Now if we were to take off the two bike extension, we'd have about 30 inches with just that two bike rack. Our closest point it's going to be here, about eight and a half inches. And at the very back, our ground clearance is going to be about 26 and a half inches. And again, with that two bike rack, we've got about 24 inches. Now, the nice thing is, when not in use, everything folds flat. So we'll just pull out that, that pin, rotate that center mass down and we'll replace that pin. Same goes for this one here. It just folds opposite. Now you can stow the bike rack this way, of course, when you're hitting the trails or when you're driving around town, but I would recommend folding it up against the Forerunner. This gives you more clearance here at the back. We'll pull this pin here, raise it up until it snaps in. As you can see, it's more compact this way. This is ideal for pulling in your garage or in a tight parking spot. Let's grab a few more measurements. <clears throat> 
We're looking at about 17 inches with it folded up. Our closest point is going to be up here on our rear hatch. We'll call about four and a half, five inches to here to here before it's going to make contact. And then our ground clearance is about 16 and a half inches underneath here. Now let's talk about what makes this nice and sturdy into our receiver. It actually has a built-in anti-rattle de device, excuse me, um, that when the pin goes through, the lever back here then tightens up and it pulls that pin towards the end here, but within the shank. So it reduces all that play and rattle. So with it in place, you can see I'm shaking the entire forerunner there. It's not going anywhere. Now it's meant for two inch by two inch receivers only. So what we've got here, the pin and lock is included. The nice thing about that is it's gonna prevent anyone from removing our bike rack from our forerunner. Uh, but us. I'd also like to mention that that key is key to like to our frame hooks, that way we're not carrying around a bunch of keys. But with that being said, that's going to complete our test fit of the Hollywood Rack Sportrider SE4 platform style 4 bike rack for fat bikes, part number HR1400Z-FB on our 2012 Toyota 4Runner.